what is up everybody welcome back to the channel um one thing that just been you know um that again when you're building a business man you you always want to be tweaking your shit like you always want to be updating you always want to be improving you always want to be getting better you always want to be making making your systems more efficient you always want to be automating your systems to become more efficient everything right like so I, this whole thing that i've been doing you know building my agency for the last couple of years now every single I don't want to say every day, not, I mean, shit, we could, we could call it every week. We could definitely for sure call it every week, every week. I'm trying to get better every week, every day too, but let's just keep it more. Let's just keep it more real. Let's just call it per week. Because even when you really put things in perspective and you look at it, by, you look at it by week, a seven day period, one week, if you were really focused on getting better every week, which would be technically every day anyways, shoot, you know? that's when things are going to, are going to really pop off. Like you got to be committed. You got to be getting better every week. And so honestly, I've been getting better every week. I've been trying to, at least, you know what I mean? Like I've been really trying to stick to, stick to, stick to my, 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 my strategies and, and, and kind of what I, what I, you know, focus on as far as delivering the clients, you know, staying in one niche. They're, they're, at the end of the day, I truly believe that the same philosophy, the same strategy, the same, the same um, 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 overall freaking tactics are the same. They're the same for every, every business, especially a small to medium sized business, you know, especially a local business, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of business, the same strategy add to a landing page to capture a lead. You can apply that to 99% of businesses. You know what I mean? Um, so you always want to get better, man. That's my point. You always want to keep getting better. And so in one of my, one of my little hiccups have been um, an email that I, that I have sent out that's automated. Um, I send it out to my clients right when I onboard. These are my social media clients, right? Um, been focused on building a social media agency since 2016. One niche um, nationwide. I have hundreds of clients now to this day, hundreds of clients, all of them across the country. I built it from home. I built it from my little home office, my little you know office that I have also here in San Diego. Um, catch all my previous videos. I have so many videos in my office. Um, I'll record videos at my office. I'll record videos here at home in the home office. Just super basic, man. Simple. This is super simple stuff. I built a business all from the DM and all through this Zoom app um, where I screen share and, and record. So it's like, dude, I'm telling you, man, laptop lifestyle to the, to, to the finest, like for sure. So this is an email. When I onboard a client, this is an email that I have that's set to go out right away to gather information. When I onboard a client, there's some information I need, you know, basic information. There's some information I need and, and, and it's, and it's, and it's, and it's critical. It's, it's, you know, crucial to the success of our launch. You know, we want to be able to get this stuff up and going the same day if possible. The moment I close that client, the same day I want this information, you know, updated, customized, and added to their profiles. And I'm going to show you the email that I send out. I'm going to show you right when I onboard a client, this is exactly the email um, that I sent send out. And let me kind of show you how, it, how, how, it, how the process works. As I'm onboarding a client, right, I'll tell them to look out for two emails. I'll say, hey, man, first of all, I, you know, I take that credit card number. So 100% of my hundreds of clients, okay, hundreds of clients um, since 2016, one niche social media agency providing social media marketing services and paid traffic, whether it's Facebook ads, Instagram ads, now YouTube ads is what, what I'm trying to crack the code on. Um, whatever it may be, you know, offering those services and, and, and really delivering since 2016. Right. And so what I want to be able to do is launch them the right way. I want them to be able to say, okay, cool. Here's my credit card number. Send me what you need, David, and I'll get it to you right away. And so I tell them, I say, okay, great. You're going to get two emails from me. One email is going to be titled info needed. Okay. And that's the email that I'm going to share with you guys today. That's the first email that goes out it's titled info needed and there's info on all their social media platforms that i need because now i want to now i want to i want to take a deep dive now i'm going to log into each account i'm going to make sure everything is optimized i'm going to make sure the links are correct i'm going to make sure the links are matching i'm going to make sure that 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 people know if it's our facebook i'm going to make sure that they know that 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 you're also on twitter linkedin 
Pinterest, Instagram. I'm going to make sure that they have that, that they're seeing the correct business page, right? Mr. Business owner, why isn't your business page listed on your personal profile? Oh, David, because I don't use my personal. It don't matter, man. We're in a social media world. We're in a, in a, in a authentic, a person can see right through you type of world, right? And, and I have some clients that want to hide behind the camera and you want to hide behind your phone and you want to hide behind the keyboard. Where we're headed, man, with marketing, with online marketing, with social media marketing, everything is, is you. It's all personal branding. It's all building a personal um, 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 relationship with people and building a personal audience. Whatever your audience is on, whatever your audience is about, whatever your audience, whoever your audience is, that's the audience that you should be building your social media around. You know, um, some of you have, have many, many different types of customers. But then a lot of you guys have the same type of customer. It was it blew my mind where this morning, actually yesterday, 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 I was looking at my analytics with um, with YouTube, and that's a whole other video. I'll cut that video here here shortly. That's a whole other video. But um, in a nutshell, I was looking at my analytics, and I was looking at who's been watching my videos. Are they subscribers or non-subscribers? Who has been watching my video? What's their age? Are they 20 years old? Are they 25 years old? Are they 35 years old? Like, what's the age? What's the demographics? Where do they, what area, what countries do they live in? Dude, on YouTube, if you're building a YouTube channel, you can look at all those analytics all in real time. Like, obviously your views and how many subscribers, that's, that's, that's baby analytics. That's just the beginning. I'm talking about deep diving and going into the real numbers and saying, damn, you're telling me 99% of my viewers are male in between the age of 25 and 34, those are my analytics. My analytics, 99.9% .9 of the viewers are from the age of 25 to 34 in the US. And 99.9% and, 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 and .9 of them are men, are male. I was like, the, dude, the light bulb went off for me. Ding, 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 ding. I was like, Holy shit. You all want to say, okay, so if you have a business, you better have an avatar. You better know who the hell your client is. Who's your customer? What do they look like? What do they smell like? Where do they hang out? What are their ages? What's their gender? What's their demographics? You need to be knowing this. Unless you have a type of business like a freaking Walmart where all kinds of random people come buy shit. If you guys have a business like that, okay, whatever. But I'm, I'm willing to bet that the majority of you guys that are selling stuff online, drop shippers, Amazon sellers, social media agency, you're a freelancer, you're out there getting clients, you're a real estate agent. Dude, at the end of the day, there's, there's analytics to that. Like there's a avatar. Like you have, you have, if you've closed a lot of customers, I was telling this to my wife the other day. I'm like, dude, I know my exact client. Like with my social media agency. I was telling her, I'm like, I know my exact client. Like I can look at a profile picture and be like, dude, I'm going to help them. I can look at a profile picture and be like, nah, I ain't going to help them. Like I'm telling you, dude, it's not judging. It's not weird, but it is weird because I just have that intuition. Like me and, 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 and only because, and not only, but, and, and the word is, and, and because I know my clients. I've closed hundreds of them and hundreds of them have been in the same age group and the same type of person, same gender, same age group, same type of person. That becomes your avatar, man. If you're a freelancer or building an agency or, 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 or just dealing with clients in general, general, you have to niche it down. Even if you're selling a physical product, you're drop shipping on shop on Shopify, you're selling on Amazon, dude, there's a niche product. What are you selling? Kitchen knives? Okay, so if you're selling kitchen knives on Amazon, are you running Facebook ads to a bunch of 18-year-old Mel, Mel's? No, right? Like hell no. Like would you run a would you run an ad to just everyone in the country in between the ages of 25? I mean, excuse me. Would you run a Facebook ad to everyone in the country in between the ages of 18 and 65 if you're marketing kitchen knives? No, dude, you would know your niche. You would know your category. You would know your type of customer. Probably a, probably a, a female, probably a mom, probably in between the age of, 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 of 30 and, and 65, right? Like, you know, 
somewhat the targeting man. And that's what you have to know. That's what I'm telling you. You have to know that <clears throat> you have to know that because as you go and start running Facebook ads, you know, freaking, um, or Instagram ads or YouTube ads, you want to be able to target. You want to be able to target so you're not just blowing your money. Now, sometimes you don't have to fully target. Sometimes you can run a Facebook ad and Facebook will find that audience and then boom, you double down. Um, so there's different strategies, man. There's different strategies. There's different strategies. But what am I saying here? What am I saying? You want to keep getting better. You want to keep improving. And so in my case, with my agency, I was just noticing where a handful of clients were, were not were not sending me the correct information. So for example, I would send them an email, which I'm going to show you. I send them the email of what I need, right? And then they'll send it back and the passwords or the emails will be wrong. And I'm like, and that slows everything down for us. Like that slows down everything for us. Um, I can't log into their account. I can't get control of their, of their ad account. I can't get control of their, of their, of their business page. I can't customize, you know, different links and optimize different platforms. I can't get the ball rolling because I can't log in because you sent me the wrong password. So I have all that set up automated, man. I'll close the client, right? And I'll say, hey, Mr. Jones, great doing business with you. I'm going to get started. I'm fired up to help you out. And this is when, 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 um, when I'm going for the card, right? I'm doing it on Zoom. I'm doing screen share just like this. And I say, okay, okay, John. Okay, John, um, do you want me to post it on a master, on a Visa, MasterCard, or American Express? Okay, David, I'll, I'll give you my Visa. And then boom, I write down the Visa. And by the way, I'm doing this without sharing my video, okay? Keep that in mind. I'm doing it like this, no video. From the, the very first second I jump on a presentation with a social media client, I'm doing it like this. I use Zoom to, to share my screen and visually show them, you know, what's going on. Um, but my face is not on video, okay? I'm, and, and neither is theirs. Neither is theirs. I tell them in the email, hey, you know what? I only use Zoom so I can screen share, but webcam will be, will be disabled. I even I tell, that to them in the, tell that to them in the email. Um, and don't ask me why I don't, I don't go on video. I don't know why. I, I'm, I'm super, super comfortable with you guys on YouTube um, on video because I just truly believe this is a different type of video. It's a tutorial or it's whatever me talking crap or whatever it is, but it's video. Um, and although this is Zoom and this is video, um, I could be on video with my, with my prospect at that point, but I'm not. I just, for some reason, it's my voice that's selling them. It's not me. It's not my, my, my video. It's not my face, right? Something about my voice where it's like, and even your voice, something about voice sells. I've always been, for the past 20 years, I've been selling on the phone. No visual, no Zoom, no web share, no screen share, none of that crap. I, for the past 20 years, I've just did, when I was in the mortgage business, all phone, all phone, telephone, telephone, telephone. When I was 19 years old, 20, 21, 22, closing deals in a network marketing deal back then, closing people across the country from the phone, buying leads and selling people on the phone, just my voice. So I use that for Zoom over here too when I'm presenting to clients. But um, when I'm doing these videos for you guys, I, I obviously go on video. But I'll tell that client, man, look for two emails. One's gonna be titled Info Needed, and one is going to be, and the second one is going to be a receipt for the service. Okay. And so that's what I email them. They're going to get info needed. One email. That's the email I'm going to show you guys right now. I'm going to, Cause I have to edit it. That's the whole reason why I'm making this video for you guys, because I got to edit the damn email because I'm bumping into a wall where my clients aren't giving me the correct information. And so I have to make it extra, extra, extra clear in the email. Triple check, triple check your shit. Like make sure these passwords are correct because don't click send until you triple check, right? Because again, man, what I'm experiencing is I'm getting these, the, the information back, but I, I can't log into whatever account because it's not the correct password. So I'm going to update the email, you guys. That's what I'm going to show you guys. Um, when I'm on the phone with them and I've already closed them, right? I already took the credit card um, um, and, and I'm getting ready to onboard them. I'll say, okay, John, okay, John. What I'm going to do right now, and this is just a random web page, a random opt-in page. This is not a, uh, 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 um, um, a page that I, that I advertise or that I promote or anything. Um, I don't run ads on this page or anything. It's a simple landing page that no one even knows. Like, it's just me. Because this is just a simple landing page that I put together in Kartra. I run everything through Kartra. My landing pages, my email autoresponder, my membership course, my videos, my calendar, my affiliate marketing. 
everything is done through Kartra. My products, I, I, I have digital products. I have a digital book. I sell all of it through Kartra. The payment processor is, is either Stripe or PayPal. Um, but these are, but this is the, the actual, you know, the, the software to process it. This is the platform. So this page was, was a simple page. No one sees it. No one cares. You know, I, I'm the only one that sees it. So all I did is I set up a simple page. So when people opt in, which is, which is me, I'm the one that's going to opt them in. But when that name and email opts in, then they're automatically put onto my list. So rather than me coming over here to my email autoresponder and physically, you know, um, inputting a lead into my list, I could do that because I'm physically putting it over here anyways. Why not? But it just makes it simpler. I don't know. I just enter the name, num email, email, or name, last name, email, and then boom, it's automatically on that list. Okay. So I just created it this, I started doing it this way, maybe, maybe a few months back. Um, so in the last few months, I put in 64 um, clients, you know, through this, because this is how I onboard them. This is how I onboard them. So just in the last few months, I started doing it this way, created a simple landing page where I can opt in my lead, my client, and then, and then just automatically put them on a list. Okay. Just automatically put them on the, on a list. So I'll tell them, I'll say, Hey John, you just got an email for info needed. Okay. That's an email that I'm going to need for you to reply to with all the correct information. Okay. So again, you guys, here's the way my setup is. There's that landing page, right? There's that opt-in page that I don't send them the page. I do this for them, right? I, I put their name and email, right? It's not a page that I send them. Um, that page is set up under, under my pages right over here, okay? And then they go onto that list. They go onto that list, and then they're put in a sequence, an, an automated sequence where I have a handful of emails that are set to go out, okay? This right here is powerful. So if I go down to Realtor Clients, it's this one. I hit edit. This is your email autoresponder. So when you hear about when you hear about email automation, when you hear about email autoresponders, that's the sequence. Okay, that's the email sequence. That's what Karcher calls um, it is the sequence. Okay. So here's how I have it set up. Here's how I set have it set up. This sequence. Let me. Um, let me let me go back let me go back we got the sequence we have the list okay we have the list so there's a sequence realtor clients there's the sequence when they opt in to the page they land on this list and that's from this landing page now this right here first name last name email game time this right here is a form okay you have the landing page and then you have the form okay this form is right over here in my forms so we're telling the system hey man and and this form i could put on any page that's why you set up the form separately from the actual page because the form can be used on multiple pages it's not a page thing it's a form thing so forms are completely separate right you create them separately and then you can add them to any page and multiple pages and 10 different pages all at the same time if you wanted to. But it's for this specific page. It's this specific form, which is um, this one right here. Okay. Now, here's the way it works. On the form, you can have an email that automatically goes out. So the moment they fill out the form, an email automatically goes out and that is called and this is the form so i can set up the form i can go to change i can i can request more information if i wanted to i can come to change and then i can go to edit i can go to new field i can ask for a phone number facebook like all that stuff you know what and that just gave me an idea no actually no i don't need actually Yeah, I don't need to do it that way. But so this is just a form. This is just a form name, last name, email, and I can add more information if I wanted to, but I don't need to. So actually, you know what? Let me go back real quick. I just saw. Okay, so that's button is not CMG. I'm just, I'm telling you, man, this is my, my YouTube channel. You guys, you just, you're catching just me teaching you stuff. 
that I'm already doing. Like this is stuff that I'm already having to do. So I just simply document it. Okay, that's the form. And then the confirmation, you can go single or double. It's a just single dot double. And then the success page. This is super important. This is super important. And ain't nobody teaching you this stuff, man. This is super important. As, ba as basic as this is, okay, look. This, I'm going to go, I'm going to just do a test email because that doesn't even matter. Okay, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. This is super, super important, okay? You got to track everything, man. We're now in a social media world. We can literally run the most effective, the most cost-effective paid social media ads on the planet today. The industry of marketing, the whole world of marketing has never been like this, like ever, ever, ever. Dude, just 10 years ago, what were we advertising on? If you were a small business owner or a freaking business owner or any business owner at all, what were your options, bro? Newspaper? TV ad? TV commercial? Okay, how much does that cost? Radio commercial? Like, what are you going to do? Like, some, like, dude, you guys that are in towns or cities that have actual, you know, radio stations dude go to your car right now go to your car go to your car turn on the local radio station hear some music and then wait for the commercial trip out on this next time you go out wait listen to the commercial do you understand people are still running radio commercials now do some of them work yeah i mean some of them catch my attention yeah do people still listen not really like so the small percentage of people that are actually paying attention okay great it could work but it's like dude you know how much that cost to run radio ads like dude come on like we're now in a social media world if you play your cards right and if you set up your systems correct you could be very very effective on social media running paid traffic at a fraction of what you would spend to run a freaking commercial okay but you got to be tracking this stuff the right way man look although no one sees this page but me I'll tell the client too. I'll say, Hey client. Okay, great. I just took your credit card number. Now, in fact, I show them this page, right? I, I take them. I say, okay, John, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you an email. In fact, let me do it right now. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll have John on screen share just like this, just like this. And I'll go to my page. I'll go to my page and I'll say, John, okay, great. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send you um, an email and it's going to be titled info needed. And this is the first email that I need you to reply to. And I need that information as soon as you, as soon as possible. Okay. And so here's what I, here's what I'm talking about. You guys, when I hit game time, when I hit game time, I need with my Facebook pixel, I need Facebook to be tracking who lands on this page. Okay. I need, I need them to be tracking that email or tracking that, 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 that visitor. Look, so my Facebook pixel is tracking and this was under the purchase, um, um, event tab. This is when you get really gangster, you guys, this is when you get really gangster. I'm telling you, man, custom audiences, custom conversions, um, 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 your Facebook pixel. This right here is a custom event, uh, 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 um, 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 yeah, custom, a custom event um, purchase, okay? So I'm able to categorize in Facebook and also create an audience in Facebook. So when I go run my next ad, I can exclude people who've already purchased from me. This is a client that I just took a credit card from for 500 bucks or a thousand bucks or whatever, right? This is a client that I just onboarded and I don't want, I don't, I don't need them to be seeing my future ads on Facebook, especially if it's for the, if, if it's for the same service, the same course, the same book, when they've already got the book, when they already purchased your course, why are they still seeing Facebook ads from you? Why are they still seeing Instagram ads from you? Some of the best of the best, dude, some of the best of the best that I follow that I purchased shit from courses, online material, digital products. Some of the best of the best, 
I'll purchase something from them. And I know they're pixeling me, right? When they, when I go to their thank you page, when, when it, when they take me to the page that says, Hey, thank you for purchasing whatever the hell I bought, whatever it is, I'm taken to a thank you page. I'm taken to this confirmation page. I know they're pixeling me, but for some reason, man, I'll see their ad again. And I'm like, no disrespect, Billy Jean, but I've already purchased your shit. And why have I seen the same ad 50,000 times since? Like, no joke, you guys. That's what was going on on YouTube for a while, even with Dan Henry. Henry. Shout out to Dan Henry. But it's like, dude, I purchased one of his products, and then I saw his commercial for like the next month, his ad, his YouTube ad. I'm like, dude, you're not segmenting these lists right, bro. You're not segmenting these these these. these these visitors, people that visit this page are only one type of person. It's purchase. Okay. It's purchase. They're the people who purchased. Those people go, get grouped into a, a list. They get grouped into Facebook, into a custom audience, for example. And when you go run your next ad, you exclude that group. Simple, man. This is super simple stuff. But yeah, dude, sometimes the best of the best don't track this type of stuff. It's like, man, I need to make sure that 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 I don't run the same ads, man. It's just it's just it's it's pointless, right? So, I just onboarded them. I just onboarded them. I just said, "Hey man, you just received an, an email titled info needed. The second email will be when we hang up. That's when I'll be able to process the credit card and I'll email you a confirmation for that as well." Now, you guys, both emails are automated, okay? The credit card email goes out automatically with the credit card company. Boom, that's process transaction complete boom, there's your order, right? That goes out. And then, and then the one that I just sent right now, the one that I just sent right now, thank you for your business. That one's titled info needed. So let's, let's, um, and so this is the success page. This is the success page. We filled out the form and then we landed on this success page. This right here is this page right here. Okay. That's that page right there. So save and next. And then this is the actual welcome email. Okay, so as I onboard my clients, you guys, this is an email. And as I fill out the opt-in form, as I, hey, John, okay, great. Matter of fact, let me send you the email right now. Let me make sure I got the best email for you. Okay, John, John Penn. Okay, great. What's your email? Best email? Okay, great. Check your email. It's titled Info Needed. That's what I'm going to need back as soon as possible. And that email, you guys, is what allows me to get the ball rolling. And that's this one right here. So this goes out automatically. It's the welcome message. It goes out automatically when that form is filled out. Okay. When that form is filled out, this one goes out automatically. So again, long story short, you guys, what I've been, you know, just again, trying to get better, trying to be more efficient, trying to automate, trying to just do the best I possibly can to improve myself, which improves my clients' business. Right. So I was just getting, you know, bumping into a wall where passwords were wrong and it was just slowing me down, man. It happened on multiple clients and I'm like, dang, man, is my email not clear enough? Like, look, man, I did this before. I knew I noticed this hiccup before. Like I caught this like a couple months ago. And so I, I, I dude, I put in highlight, please triple check before sending. But apparently people still miss that part. Because they're sending me the info and everything is wrong. And I'm like, holy crap, dude. Like, no, like, let's update this email. So this is my email autoresponder, you guys. So again, I use Kartra for everything. My landing pages, my email autoresponder, my form. This is the form. Um, so here's what I'm going to send out. Let me just tweak it a little bit. Hi, John. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure speaking with you. I'm super excited to help you take over social media and help take your personal brand to the next level. Here's a list of info needed. Reply to this email. Reply to this email and fill in all the fill in all info next to the corresponding platforms. Okay, reply to this email and fill in all info next to the corresponding platforms. Please triple check before sending. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do, man. Please I'm going to have to cap this. I'm going to have to put a cap in this. Please. 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 Shit. Is that enough? 
right? I'm going to have to, man. Please, please, please triple check info before sending. Thank you. Okay, so this is what I asked for you guys. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, their domain. Um, and the username we're using for all social media platforms. Once I customize all your links, I'll then list them on your personal Facebook page and business page. Um, I'll, I'll then list them on your personal and Facebook personal and personal and Facebook business page. I'll send you a screenshot once I'm done. You can then change all your password. Chat soon. Okay, boom. There's my info, you guys. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Oh, actually, you know what? I don't need to put the footer. That's fine. And then I'm going to save this. I'm going to save this. And that's what I needed to do, you guys. That little tweak. So right when that form is filled out, tag is assigned. They're subscribed to a list. Now, let's get to my sequence. I don't need to, I don't need to do the sequence here because I have the sequence already set up at, on the starting role, which I'll show you. I don't need advanced automations right now. We'll go for form design just next. Okay, so let me show you this last part in closing. Once that client fills out the form, right? Now they got that info needed. Now they're gonna reply with all their inf information which allows me to get my, my process started, right? Um, now, here's what I have set up. That list is one thing. The sequence is another, okay? So, that email went out automatically the moment they filled out that form okay now the sequence is a handful of emails that i have set up that are automated ready to go out and i'm going to show you how they're going out okay so we on on the sequences that's what you want to set up man you need an email autoresponder you need a sequence you need, you need a handful of automated emails when someone visits the site send them 15 emails after that. When someone buys your product, send them emails after that and automate it. Not where you're, si you're sitting here physically. Okay, what do I type? No, man, you got to do that one time and you got to do it one time only. And once you load up that list, then it's automated, man. I sat down for a couple hours one day on a Sunday and I wrote like 10 simple, stupid, basic emails. Value-based for sure, but basic. And it took me a couple hours to put like 15 together. Like opt into my list. Any of these links in the description, opt into them. You'll get a handful of emails right after, you know, value-based, good stuff, man. I'm teaching, right? That's what I do. But it's simple. Like it's simple, but I automated it, man. That's my point is that you want to automate this stuff. Because um, I'm not, I, don't, I ain't got no time to sit down every day to write you an, an email. Hell no. Like I got other things to do, but I'll do it once because I understand leverage and I understand systems and, and, and automation. Like this is powerful stuff, man. And so here's the starting rule. The starting rule, we're telling the system, we're telling Kartra, hey man, anyone who fills out this lead form, anyone who fills out this lead form, start the rule, start the sequence. Also, as a backup, anyone who's tagged, start this sequence. Same thing, you know, I can, I can do multiple. Anyone who fills out a list, anyone who places an order, anyone who visits a page, like I could automate the heck out of this man this is really powerful stuff i could i could put page visit anyone who visits my page send them this email right like crazy man so i have it simple on opt-in form and tag you don't need two you can just have one but i just have i just have two for the heck of it um and then those are the starting rules seven days later so again they fill out the form right away they get the welcome email info needed and then seven days later they're going to get this email. This email is super, super basic. It's just saying, hello. It's saying, Hey man, I haven't forgot about you. I'm working on everything. Can't wait to speak to you again. Keep in touch. Let me know if you need anything, you know, holler back. That's that first, that's that next email. I should say seven days later. And then seven days after that, I have another email going out and this is upselling them. This, this second email is upselling them. That goes out seven days later, which is a total of 14 days after they filled out this form. Okay. Seven days after that, I'm sending them more value. I'm sending them more value, another value-based video. 
The first one was a value-based video. The second one was an upsell. Seven days later, another value-based video. Seven days after that, another upsell. So when I onboard a social media client, they're going to get an email from me over the next 28 days. So I'm going to touch that person via email a total of five times in a given 30-day period because they're getting that email right away, the welcome email. They're getting that info needed. That's an email that triggers the moment they fill out the form. That's email number one. And then they get email number two, seven days later, email number three, email number four, email number five. I'm sending them five emails in about a 29, 28 day period, 28, 29 day period. Now I already took them for an investment up front and then I'm, and then I'm upselling them 14 days later. I'm upselling them 28 days later. Okay. And then that's it. And then I could make this go further out. I could take the sequence out 50 emails if I wanted to, but this is a simple one, you know, simple one, simple one. These are clients that I onboard. These are my social media clients. And, 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 and the whole purpose of these next four emails is to, is to, is to work with them even more. Okay. Because the first time normally when I onboard a client is just to do a few basic services for them, clean up their shit, make their social media platforms look more legit and more professional. And, and really bring that branding type of effect to them. And then also set up some Facebook ads, do some coaching calls, set up some Facebook ads for them. Um, and that's normally my, my, what I call step one. And then step two, three, four, and five is what I'm trying to do over the next few days, over the next few weeks. Over the next few weeks, check your email. Let's stay in touch. And in these emails, you guys, are links to my calendar. So, so right here, value base, right here, upsell, right here, value base, right here, another upsell. And I'm sending them to my calendar to schedule an appointment. Okay. So actually, you know what? Let's actually, no, that's fine. It doesn't matter. But that one went out 20 days, 28 days later. And that's just giving me another chance to help them even more. Okay. And then after that, after that, there's no more sequence. There's no more emails that I, that I decided to, that I, um, you know, that I, that I wanted to go out because any email that I'm going to send them in the future could just be a broadcast. Like it could just be a broadcast. Like a broadcast is when it's not a sequence. Your sequence are all the automated. You want to, you want to automate all this, man. You want a sequence for all your different lists. But that one had four emails in the sequence, right? If I'm just filling some way, and if I'm just thinking of some random thing, or if there's something on my mind that I want to get out, get out and I want to teach something, just like I did right now, man. This is stuff that I had to do already. I had to fix this email. I might as well share it with you guys and tell you how the hell I'm doing it and my perspective on it. And so um, um, whenever you have some type of idea or something you want to share, you can always do a broadcast. A broadcast is just a one-off email. Okay, great. I got some, it's like texting somebody, but it's a one-off, it's a one-off email. So you got your sequences and you got your one-offs and that's the broadcast. So a lot of you guys that are on my list I'll send out broadcast emails with my YouTube video. So for example, like pages, this right here is what is, this is a page that I sent in my broadcast. So whenever I drop a video, for example, if you're on any of my email list, whenever I drop a YouTube video, I'll, I'll also send an email and in that email will be a link to watch the video and I take you to a page and this is where you watch it here. Okay. So, this stuff right here, man, is a broadcast. I'll just send out a broadcast. And if, if I drop a new video, I'll send out an email and I take them to a page and not directly to my YouTube. I take them to a page so I can Facebook pixel you guys and stay top of mind. So again, this Facebook pixel, this gives me the data and the ability to run Facebook ads to those of you who are watching my shit who are landing on my page and watching my shit, right? That's super effective, man. Super powerful. Why wouldn't you want to run ads to people that are watching your stuff? Like why, why wouldn't you? That's the most effective way to spend your money. Run it to, to run your ads to people who are, who are already engaging in your stuff. That's what retargeting is all about. That's why the Facebook pixel is so powerful. The Facebook pixel goes on every page, every page. I need to know who lands here. I need to know who lands there. I need to know who scheduled an appointment. I need to know who bought my shit. I need to know who bought that. Like, I need to know who landed on that thank you page. All those people, all those visitors become segmented lists. Not only, not only in, in your CRM, not only in your, in your, in your Kartra, you know, email autoresponder, but most importantly, 
through your Facebook system. Through your Facebook ads manager, you're able to customize and create different audiences, which will allow you to exclude and include when you run future ads. Okay, so that's super powerful, you guys. And I can't encourage you enough to make that happen. Okay, you guys, so, so that's pretty much it, you guys. I needed to update that email. Hopefully that makes sense. When you're onboarding your clients, automate your stuff, man. Get something, get something down. I use Kartra for everything. I provided a 14-day trial. Um, there's a link in the description, profitwithkartra.online. Once you set up your 14-day trial, comment below. Reach out to me, man. Let's set up a coaching call. I will give you my time for free. We'll do a free coaching call where I'll walk you through all this stuff, man, and teach you how to set up your first funnel. Uh, we have live coaching calls also with Kartra support team every Tuesday and Thursday. So, and that's at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Mad support, you guys. And, and, and we're just getting started. So, um, automate your shit, man. I'll see you guys in the next video. Over and out.